Hey guys, welcome back to Look Past Limits. We're Steven Vendy and with this video we'll be kicking off a new series. In this series we'll be converting this van into a tiny home on wheels. So if you're already a subscriber here you may know that we converted a small truck in Canada to tour around BC and the Rockies last summer and now we're back in Czech Republic ready to start a new van build. So we have challenged ourselves to build this van into a camper van in only 30 days. These videos will be filmed in the usual vlog style and it's purely for entertainment purposes only. We will try and show you everything that we do here um, but Everyone's got their own way of building vans now and everyone, everyone thinks that their way is right so don't get yourself too worked up if we use the wrong insulation or do something differently from how you would do it. This is just our way to our budget, how we feel like it. It's not a how-to video and we will also not try to cut any corners even though it's a really short period of time for the conversion. So we'll do it to our best abilities. Yeah. So let's rewind a couple of days and show you how we actually got this van. So, what do you think of this one, honey? It's quite good actually. It's the first one we came to see and it's pretty good, so we're empty. So, can you see yourself lying in a bed here? Pretty good for me, I think. Enough space? Yeah. Maybe a kitchen over here? Yeah, maybe nice. Maybe an L-shape and a bed there and Might need to put some windows in it though, it doesn't have any windows No windows, hmm. So we want to see out, obviously, but yeah So we've just bought a van They needed some bits and pieces and we wanted them to put it through a technical check and stuff So they've just phoned us yesterday to say that it's ready And we've just come through this morning on the train to buy it and we're just about to take it back, so fingers crossed it goes well on the way home. Just put some fuel in, we're just about to hit the motorway, so yeah. let's see how it goes. Big empty van, the build starts now. <laughs> What's happening? Not good. Done about 50 kilometers on the highway and the engine management light just came on, so to go and see if we can see anything, what's happening. So the 30 day build time is going to be 30 days of actual building, actually working on the van. Uh, as you saw already when we were driving home we had a little mishap so as soon as we got back we sent the van to the garage to see if they could look at it to see if we could get a repair. Uh, it was there for three or four days. It turned out, luckily enough, to be nothing. This was all that was causing the problem. It's a pressure solenoid from the turbo. Uh, it didn't cost us very much to solve it, but it did mean that we were out the, without the van for a few days. So we have used those few days to be researching materials and ordering all the stuff that we need for the van. We were also deciding about layouts and how we want the final van to look. Yeah, so we've had some deliveries arrive from stuff that we ordered online. Uh, we went to some hardware stores and timber merchants and the like and picked up whatever we could. Um, because we had a pretty good idea of what we wanted to do here and because we're trying to do this quickly, we spent quite a bit of time trying to work out all the different products that we would need based on the layout that we had come up with. You're never going to be able to order everything right at the beginning, but we no. tried to order as much as we could. So we've got deliveries coming constantly and we've got quite a lot of stuff. That meant that we could use the time well whilst we didn't have the van when it was in the garage. And it also means that it should speed up the rest of the process. Um, because we shouldn't have to take time off each day to go and buy parts, hopefully, if we've already got it all here. That's the idea anyway. We'll see if that works out or not. So let's show you around. Yeah, let's show you the van, tell you a bit about it and tell you what kind of layout we've come up with. Welcome to Maverick de Movano. So 
We gave him name Maverick. He's a Opel Movano from 2014. He's got 175,000 kilometers on the clock. And that's it. <laughs> so he needs a good clean and polish on the outside, but the bodywork is actually in really good condition. And you would never know that it was a 2014 van looking at the outside. As you can see at the moment he's just a normal panel van so we will be putting a window right here and also on the other side in the same spot. So as Vendy said we'll have another window on this side, probably one with a sliding opening on it. We're going to leave the back without any windows. On the roof at the back here we'll have an opening clear roof vent and at the front a huge 300 watt solar panel on the roof. So here will be the main entrance. As you enter, here will be an L-shaped kitchen, custom made by us. We will have a hob right here and a sink here. There will be a fridge on this part of the fridge here. And then here we will have a U-shaped bed, which will, I'm saying U-shaped because it will be a U-shaped seating area during the day. And then the table drop down at night for a bed. So it will be lengthways bed. So under the kitchen here we'll have the gas bottle or the propane, the waste water tank, the fresh water tank, the fridge will be here, the main electrics will be here, the diesel heating system here, some fuel for the diesel heating system, loads of storage all the way around here, and the toilet underneath the bed which should slide out and be used here. It's an L2H2 van and we want the build to look really spacious and open so because of that we decided we'll not be having any toilet or shower cubicle. So this is exactly how we picked up the van, we've not started doing anything yet and as you can see on the walls here we've got some ply, this might come in handy. Um, we don't know what's under here but we imagine probably nothing so we'll have to take all of this off and insulate underneath here, insulate the floor and the roof. Uh, we also do have a floor which is already here which is going to be reusable it seems because the wood's in pretty good condition. Um, and I'm six foot two and got full standing headroom in here with a bit to spare so even with insulation on the floor and the roof there st should still be plenty of space. So Steve already mentioned about the big solar panel on the roof. We will be making this van to an off-grid standard. So the solar should run everything in the van all the time. There will be a hookup point which you can use when you will be on the campsite. But apart from that, you shouldn't need it. So there you go guys, that's the plan. That's what we've came up with for converting this van into our off-grid tiny home on wheels. We'll see how it goes when you're building things, nothing usually goes to plan, but we'll try our best. And check in with us tomorrow when our clock starts ticking for the 30 day challenge. See you tomorrow guys for day one.